Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Knight 14, and you're looking at your screen right. I am playing Halo 4. Oh my word, guys! I was so excited when I got home. I got home November. Uh, what was it? 13th? No, 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 no. I got home last Tuesday. <laughs> I don't remember the date. I just know I've been waiting for to play Halo 4 since November 6th. I went to GameStop at midnight, November 6th. And I picked up my limited edition Halo 4 Xbox, and it's been sitting in my college room since November 6th, and I have not been able to play it. I finally got it home Tuesday, and literally, guys, when I plugged in the Xbox, I turned it on, and I heard it the sound of it turning on, like the Halo 4 sound, and it turned blue. I just started cheering. I was, like, screaming, and I was freaking out. I was so excited, man. And then I popped in the game, and this is my first game. This is literally... My first ever game on Halo 4. First game I played, hopped in. Infinity Slayer on Complex. I was like, okay, let's do this. Get on my DMR. Went 22 and 3. 22 and 3, guys. First game ever. I was going ham on these kids. I don't know if they're all bad or what. Like, seriously, I'm rank 1. SR1. And these guys are all in their 30s. And they're rank 30s. And I'm like, just, I'm just beast mode in these kids, man. It was sick. And I also might have hit a really dirty no scope. You know, get a little snapshot metal action. Cause that's just how I roll. But yeah guys, I am loving this multiplayer right now. A three for three just did a great job with it. When I first when I first stopped on, I was like already freaking out. I knew it was gonna be great from all the videos I've seen and all the commentary commentators I've talked to about it. And then uh I finally got on. And man, that was so fun. I think I played about 10 hours of multiplayer over Thanksgiving break and like two hours of Spartan Ops. Maybe like maybe like an hour and a half of Spartan Ops and a half hour of com campaign. And I'm just loving it. I'm loving all the new, just everything, guys. The only, there's not there's no really like huge negatives to this game that I'm just like, oh man, if this wasn't in there, this game would be perfect. But like. There's nothing in there that's just ruining the game for me. I'm not like, why is that in there? It's just retarded. I mean, all the armor abilities are pretty good. What Active camel, though, is kind of ridiculous right now because it is very hard to see people in there in active camel. And there's just camel campers in this game, man. Camel campers are worse in, in this game than they were in Halo 4. Or Halo 3, excuse me. Like, by far, you'll get a guy camping in the bottom of some, like, haven. We camping down low with a shotgun. You'll run by, and all of a sudden, boom, you're just dead. It's like, what the frick? You're just gone. That's pretty annoying. And, like, the only other negative I would say about the multiplayer is I wish there was more guns on the map. And more guns would respawn on the map. Like, I understand the new ordinance thing, and I'm all for that. I think the ordinance drops are pretty cool. But I really do wish that, you know, like, complex... It would be so nice to have snipers on this map that kept respawning. I think there's one sniper on this map that spawns on each side at the beginning. And then that's it. Like, you know, put weapons on the map. Put a rocket in the middle or a shotgun in the middle and let it respawn so you can get more ammo for it. I mean, I understand the ordinance drops and they're trying to change it up. But I just feel like that's always been such a big part of Halo is the map spawns. And like fighting over where you know in the pit you had the snipers on each side and you'd always have like one or two guys that was going sniper and then the other two guys were rushing rockets like the rockets were a coveted area that people wanted they wanted to get those rockets that could change the whole gameplay at the pit and I just feel like they I think they should put back in well, they're not going to but maybe for Halo 5 they'll put in some on map guns I would like that I would like that 343 um, well, let's move in right along to the positives of the game, which is basically everything else. This game is awesome. Alright, let's start off talking about, let's go with maps. We'll start off with maps. Halo Reach's maps were iffy at best. They had some really fun maps, and they had some just terrible maps. <laughs> they had some really fun maps. I will give Reach that. Reach had some good classic maps that I would, I would even like to see come back in Halo 4. But they weren't those maps that were just like, oh, you just loved them, you know? Like Halo 3 had multiple maps I just loved. The Pit, Guardian, Valhalla, High Ground. Loved them. Just absolutely loved them. And Reach, 
I didn't really have any maps that I was just like in love with, you know? Whereas Halo 4, I am loving these maps. I am enjoying almost all of them. There's not really any maps that I'm just like, oh, come on, this map again? I don't want to play. Like, <clears throat> Abandon, very fun map. I love Abandon. Um, Adrift, another great map I love. Haven, Haven's a super good map. I like Haven. Haven is probably the map that feels the most Halo to me. Um, Ragnarok, it, it's like one of the best maps ever. Just Valhalla remade to look better. The graphics look amazing on Ragnarok. Exile is a really fun map. I love Exile. Um, you know, there's just good map. Even Complex. Complex is my friend Mike who's been playing Halo since Halo 1. Me and him are just huge Halo nerds. This is like his favorite map in the game. He loves Complex. And I do too. It's a good map. Halo 4 has fun maps. I feel like they actually put time into develop developing the maps and I feel like Bungie just kind of skimped on the maps in Reach which is too bad because Halo has always had iconic maps it's like been a huge part of the Halo franchise is the maps and I can't wait for the map packs to see what other maps um, 343 is going to be bringing us because I'm loving all the maps we already have now <clears throat> alright let's move on to the weapons though the weapons in Halo 4. Now, when I first heard Halo 4 was bringing back the BR, I was all excited to use it. I thought for sure everyone was going to be using the BR, and the DMR was going to be like an afterthought on huge maps like Ragnarok and Exile. But it's quite different, actually. I think DMR is the better gun. Everyone seems to think so. Like, a lot of commentators I've talked to, basically everyone that plays this game just likes the, DM the DMR. It's so accurate so accurate you can get that final headshot just one two three four boom five you get that headshot it's such a good gun i do like to beat the dmr a lot but i think i've actually used the br more than the dmr which might be surprising to you some people some of you are like well yeah that's obvious i mean you know the br is just awesome which i agree i love the br on close on basically any infinity slayer map like any of the maps in that playlist i'm gonna run the br except for complex i'll run the dmr i just love the feel of the br i love the dmr too like i can't be like oh i just love the br and the dmr anybody who uses that is just terrible because it's not true they're both good guns i like them both i just have more kills with the br and i think i like that better i've been using my br with that arctic camo looks sexy and i think i like that gun better as of now, my opinions can change. They're not set in stone. Um, the carbon and the light rifle, they're both pretty good. I never really used either of them that much. I use the carbon every once in a while. And the light rifle, I don't know what it was. For me, like, the light rifle, it just took me a longer time to get used to it. Like, I just couldn't, I couldn't get the feel of the light rifle. And I'm not sure why, because it's a good gun. It's one of the strongest guns if you know how to use it right with that three burst shot when you're hit firing and a single shot when you're looking down sight it can kill quicker than any gun if you hit all your down sight shots or ADS shots but I just couldn't I couldn't get the feel for it I don't know I'm gonna be playing more over Christmas break hopefully I'll be able to get the feel for it then um the Psy and the rail gun and the rockets and the shotgun and the sticky detonator basically all the guns UNSC guns you get out of the Ordinances are awesome. I love the saw. It is so fun to use. The saw with damage boost is just a nightmare for anybody you come up to. Um, the assault rifle got a buff, man. The assault rifle is good. Like, on some maps, on Haven, sometimes I would even run it as my primary weapon, and I would do good. Like, the assault rifle is... It's beast mode, man. I like how they buffed it up. I think that's pretty good. It's good for the... Um... I think it's just good. I like it how they did that. Oh, let's talk about some better weapons. The binary rifle is just insanely powerful. One shot kill to the chest. You don't even have to hit him in the head. I don't even aim for the head with the binary rifle. Because if you can hit him in the chest, it's a one shot kill. But I think they did a good job balancing the binary rifle since it is so powerful with that two round clip. And then whenever you're zoomed in, you just have this massive laser coming out of your gun which everyone on the map can see and it's really easy to find where you are and kill you which is why basically I don't ever zoom in with a binary rifle I like look cross map just kinda looking 
either with my DMR or I'll just have the binary rifle out looking. And as soon as I see a guy, I, I quick scope him. I barely ever uh, hard scope like ever with the binary rifle. I quick scope most of the time, or I just go for the no scope because the binary rifle surprisingly is really good at no scopes. The binary rifle and the beam rifle are just good at no scopes. I'm not sure what it is. The beam rifle is also a really beast gun. I love it. The sniper is just a fun. I love all the snipers in this game. I just like the guns in this game. I think they did a good job with all of them. Even the secondaries, the Magnum, is awesome. It's a very good gun. I, I'll take on guys who have a BR or a DMR with my Magnum and I'll win. I mean, it's a good gun. The bolt shot is just dirty. You charge that thing up, use it as a shotgun bolt, is a good gun. All in all, like I think 343 did a good job. I like the new loadout system. I like all the little... Uh, armor abilities and the support upgrades that they put put in there none of them feel overpowered or like they're game changing which is the most important thing none of them are like oh my word everyone's running this and it's just changing the gameplay and it's ruining it there's nothing like that they're all even they're all balanced it's it feels good i like what 343 is doing with this and i can't wait to play more of it and i honestly can't wait for halo 5 and 6 to see what else they bring out um, let me know you guys just don't watch this watch this boom oh, That was just nasty man. I was freaking out when I hit that no scope literally I started screaming. Oh man. I lost it dude. That was sick uh, Beauty beauty But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Halo 4. I am very excited to be playing this game Can't wait to bring you guys out more content. This has been Dark Knight 14 and I will catch you later